Hi, my name is Nanadia Binti Alias from Group 2. Hello, my name is Zendaya Nisa Abdahamid from Group 3. Hello everyone, I am Shanti Sakti Subramaniam. Introduction for Chapter 12. Chapter 12, 12, 1. View and modify the TCP IP configuration of network interface. 12, 2. View, resolve and configure host name resolution. 12, 3. Test name resolution using your ISP DNS server. 12, 4. Configure your computer table as well as view and test your routing configuration. Next. Install and configure the internet super daemon as well as the telnet and our common daemon. Next, you perform remote administration on your local computer using telnet and the R common. So in this uh, project, uh, 12, project 12, we, use, we have to use Fedora uh, instead of CentOS because uh, the commands here uh, is for Fedora and we cannot use it in CentOS. Thank you. For the project 12, we will use Fedora. Fedora is one of the various in Linux. Uh, like before, we use CentOS. So in this project, we must use the Fedora. So Fedora, uh, firstly, we install the Fedora just like the CentOS. The installation is, is the same. At the genome master environment, firstly, we must go to the system. And secondly, we must go to the preference. And secondly, is we go to the internet and network and to the network configuration. The third uh, step is uh, we view the interface, the network interface listed on the device tab. So uh, from this we can view uh, how many wire or wireless NIC that we have and click to the hardware tab and what are the driver listed for NICS. So for the fourth step is the click the device tab again. Highlight the network interface that you use to gain success to again access to your network and click the edit button. When the in internet device secret screen appears, observe the current TCP and IP address. So uh, from there we can see when are this configured and we will ensure the enable IV IPv6 configuration for this interface is selected and click Next, we click to the file and choose save and click OK when the information message appears. Close the network configuration windows and log out of the genome desktop environment. So, uh, when we close the genome desktop environment, we will switch to the command line determinant in the TTY2 TTY by pressing Ctrl Internet F2 and log into the terminal using the username of root and the password of secret. So at the command prompt, we will choose type service network restart and press, press enter to restart your network after making change to your TCP IP configuration. And next, we will type iconfig and press enter. So we, uh, from this from this result, we can see the IV, IPv4 and IV, IPv6. So after we view the IPv4 and IPv6, we will use the editor such as VI. We will edit the etc sync config network script IC IFCFG and interface file where interface is the network interface that you use to connect to your network. Do the entry contain the correct information? So we change the fault number in your in IV IPv4 address so that it incriminate by one. So from this it control the first internet network interface or NIC in the system. At the command prompt, type IF down interface, IF up interface and press enter. Where interface is the network interface that you use to connect to your network. So from this I uh, I, the function of IF up is to bring a 
they will interface up making it available to transmit and receive data while for the IF down it takes a network interface down placing it at a state where it cannot transmit or receive data so at the prompt at the command prompt type I, I config and press enter once again so is there any change is yes there's a change happened in the command prompt so while we're using uh, once again we will use an editor uh, is a vi we use the command prompt uh, which is etc sysconfig sys network script ifcng interface file where interface is the network interface that you use to connect to your network so from this we change your we change our ipv4 address back to original value so save our change and quit the editor to return to the command prompt at the command prompt type if down interface if up interface and press enter once again where interface is the network interface that we will use to connect to your network at the command prompt type if config and press enter what is configuration that we see so the result is uh, we will see a wired connection and look back connection configuration so at the command prompt type ping i interface ip and press enter where interface ip is the ipv4 address of the network interface that we will use to connect to you to our network interface press ctrl c when finished to quit the ping command so the result will be receive ping response from our network interface at the command prompt type nestart dash i and press enter view the statistic for our network interface if necessary consult the nestart manual page to determine the meaning of each column this way there are several type of the column in the nestart um, such as photo column recvq and send q column local address and foreign address column the state column and the PID or program name column so uh, the last step for the project 12.1 is a type exit and press enter to log out of our shell for the fifth step we will edit the slash etc slash host file with text editor such as vi and we add a line to the bottom of files and that read 1.2.3.4.fakehouse.fakedomain.com.sample and when finish save our work and quit the editor for the sixth six step at the common prompt type ping slash c5 server 1 and press enter was the name resolved is correct the answer is no it is said unknown host server 1 for the server step at the command prompt type ping slash at the command prompt type ping dash c5 local host and press enter what is the name resolved correctly yes i got response from the local host at the common pro at the next common prom type ping c5 fake host dot fake domain dot com and press enter was the name resolved correctly the answer is the name was resolved correctly but the ping command was unable to contact the host so at the the next command prompt we type ping slash c5 sample and press enter was the name resolved correctly the whole the answer is yes so for the last step in the 12 project 12.2 is we type exit and press enter to log of the shell thank you Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadia and my part is Project 3 
And in this project, we have to use um, Fedora instead of CentOS because uh, all commands in uh, in this task is compatible for Fedora. I already tried on CentOS and uh, the feedback was um, common not found. So we have to use Fedora. So how we how do we install Fedora? It's basically the same as we install CentOS. The step is uh, the same as we install CentOS. Just put it in our virtual box. Then we can use Fedora. Um, but when you uh, log in into uh, Fedora, uh, first we have to log in as root. And in this task, uh, we have no problem because uh, we have you we use the task we use uh, root to continue. All right. First, in this hands-on project, you test name the solution using your ISP DNS server. So at the common prompt, uh, the common is ftp.kenal.org. Then. Uh, it will return the IP address uh, such as 149.20.4.69 okay. and the other name for ftp.kenal.org is ftp.all.kenal.org Number three, at the common prompt, type nslookupftp.kenal.org and press enter. How do you know that this information comes from your ISP DNS server? So, uh, we know this information uh, comes from uh, ISP DNS because it shows uh, my DNS server address. When it shows the uh, address, so we know it is uh, nslookup from ISP DNS server. Alright, next. Add the command from type the command dig dig and press enter. What additional information does dig provide compared with the NS lookup and host utilities? So, uh, when uh, we use uh, command dig the IG, so the uh, we have many queries answer. Uh, it provide information, uh, and how many queries answer authority and additional flags. Uh, it has. Okay. Next is next one is project twelve. For, for in this hands-on project, you view and configure your computer's route table as well as view and test your routing configuration. Okay, so uh, for project 12.4, it is the same as the previous project, which is uh, project 12.3. Uh, because we use, we log in as root. Okay, we log in as root. And then for the um, routing table command, we use route R O U T E route route yeah R O U T E then press enter then uh, when we use uh, that command then the uh, entries will be listed on that uh, in the form of this kind of table uh, which is in my in my um, in my Fedora, the entries listed was destination, gateway, gen mask, flex, metric, ref, use, and iface. So maybe uh, the uh, the entries listed for the other for the other variants of Linux may be different. Maybe it's different for CentOS and different for Ubuntu. So uh, for Fedora, this is um, the entries listed. And the entries uh, listed has uh, represent uh, its own uh, meaning. Uh, uh, for example, destination uh, represent network you want to reach, gateway, reachable destination, uh, ref, number of reference to this route, to this route. Right. Next, the default gateway. My, in my projects, when I 
enter the um, the command in the, my default that get way is 10 10.0.2.2 right at the command prompt type ipo at uh, at 101.0.0.0 slash 8 via GWIP and press enter. So, GWIP is our own uh, IPv4 address. So, as I stated be before, my default gateway, gateway is 10.0.0.2.2. So, uh, when we use this command, uh, we replace the GWIP this this task in this task. So I type IP row A at one dot zero dot zero dot zero slash eight via my my default gateway. So after that, the default gateway is added into the computer. Next. At the common prompt type trace road ftp dot and press enter. How many routers are used to pass your packet to the ftp dot computer? Uh, in my computer, uh, it states that thirty routers are used to pass the packet. Next, at the common prompt type the command cat cat slash proc slash system slash net slash ipv four slash IP power then press enter. So how many network interface at minimum? Is your system configured as an IPv6 router? How many network interface at minimum must you have in order to be routed? So no uh not in my in IPv6 router and uh, the minimum interface is one, so uh, it is enough to put them at one. Right. Then that's it for project twelve four. Next, we continue to project twelve five. Okay. In this hands-on project, you install and configure the Ethernet super demon as well as the the telnet. And our command demons. Next, you perform remote administration on your local computer using telnet and the R command. So, for this task, we also use root, not local host. We also use root to make uh, to enter the command. At the command prompt, type telnet local host and press enter. What error did you receive? So when I type uh, telnet local local host, the feedback was connection refused because uh, the con connection does not work yet. Okay. Uh, then we have to install yum. No, no. Uh, yes, we have to install yum. And then after we finish, save your changes and quit the editor. And after we quit, then we start over again and put the command chk config to ensure that the internet superdemon is started in run level five. So we use in run level five. Next, number six, add the command prompt, type telnet localhost and press enter. Why were you successful? So, uh, previously when I type uh, telnet localhost, uh, the feedback was connection refuse. Connection refuse. So, after we install the yum and uh, use run level 5, uh, what were you successful? What error message did you receive? Were you successful? No, not yet. What error message did you receive? 
log in incorrect. Why? Because I remove this. Um, because I remove the security from the local host. Number nine. At the command prompt, type date and press enter. Next, type who at the command prompt and press enter. Given the output of this command, what can you tell? Can you tell which terminal you are using? Uh, we are using pts slash zero terminal because of remote login. Okay. Type exit and press enter to log out of your shell. Which shell where you log out of? And let's type who at the command prompt and press enter. Can you tell that the telnet session has been closed? So we know that the telnet session has been closed uh, when it stated that connection closed by foreign host. Then the next command is echo localhost dot r host and press enter. So this command uh, tell localhost to log in automat automatically without the use of the login net. Next, uh, the next command is r login localhost. And why were you not prompted to log into the system before obtaining a remote share? So, I was not prompted because we stated that the login name in the command. So we still use terminal PTS0 and then uh, after that type RSH localhost and, and press enter to run the mount command on localhost and comma from type RCP localhost and press enter to copy the file then exit uh, to log out of your shell. So that's it for my part, which is project 12, 12, 3, 12, 4, and 12, 5. Remember, we have to use uh, the Fedora instead of CentOS.